Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling an interesting question from one of our viewers. They want to know how to write Hebrew characters in a console window, but currently, their input shows up as question marks. Let's dive into the details and find a solution together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through a question, going through those answers, and hopefully it leads to your solution. Remember, stay a little bit crazy, just like me, to get through to your resolution. Now let's get started. To write Hebrew characters in the console window, we need to set the correct encoding. Let's start by specifying the Hebrew encoding. Next, we need to set the console's input encoding to match our Hebrew encoding. This ensures that the console can read Hebrew characters correctly. Now, let's prompt the user for input. We will display a message asking them to write their input. Finally, we will read the input from the console. This will allow the user to enter Hebrew characters, which will now be displayed correctly. Putting it all together, your complete code should look like this. Make sure to run your console application to test it. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To display Hebrew characters in the console window using C Sharp, simply change the output encoding. Set it to Windows 1255. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To display Hebrew characters in a C-sharp console window, first you need to set the registry as explained in a specific guide. Then run regedit and create a new string. After that, set the console's output and input encoding to UTF-8. To output Hebrew text, you can use Unicode escape sequences or directly write the Hebrew string. For example, you can display the word Ariel in Hebrew. You can also reverse a Hebrew string and display it in the console. This allows for more dynamic text manipulation. And that's it guys. I hope we've gone through the question and found that solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.